On October 24th and November 2nd, the PBA comes to South Point Casino in sunny Las Vegas for the World Series of Bowling 6. This event is going to be huge, and Laneside Reviews wants Rob Johnson to be there. Help send Rob Johnson to the Pro Tour by supporting his GoFundMe. Not only are you supporting him, you're helping support Laneside Reviews and all they do for the bowling community. Follow the link in the description below or scan the QR code. Give whatever you can and help make this dream come true. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews here from inside the new drilling room at Laneside HQ. Now, we've brought you the bigger brains and it doesn't take a genius to figure out how good the other ball was. But what do you do when Brunswick brings you their brand new ball in the Mastermind line? Well, it doesn't take a big intellect to figure out how good this ball is here as we look at the Mastermind intellect. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I am Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're looking at the new Brunswick Mastermind Intellect. Now, as we said in the intro, we know how good the bigger brains were with the original Mastermind. And we know exactly where we needed the genius. But what happens when you need a reaction in between? You throw this one. The Mastermind Intellect fits perfectly right in between those balls. They nailed it where the mastermind, um, when the hedge got chewed up and you couldn't throw it anymore because it overhooked, and you had the genius with the washout back ends, this ball fits right in there and it reacts perfect. Yeah, and like Nick was saying here, when the heads got chewed up with the original one, especially with a high rev player, you wouldn't be able to clear it and get it out to your mark. And with the genius, if they got too tight down, down lane, you'd end up seeing Sometimes the ball come in behind the head pin and leave something nasty. Well, with the intellect, it allows you to play right in the middle with enough length to get through the heads, but enough bite in the back end. But rather than listening to us talk about it, why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, so here we have Wayne Porter, our low-speed, low-rev player. Yeah, he's bowling on a Kegel Main Street oil pattern. Now, as you can see from this video, Wayne is playing a very different line. Yeah, with this ball being as strong as it is, he got to, to swing it out a little bit more and play a little bit different shape. Yeah, now, as we would said, uh, the original Mastermind was such a strong ball that Wayne had a hard time when the heads started to dry out, uh, they would overreact yeah. on him. He'd just yeah. not be able to clear it. Yeah, with the lower speed, he, he couldn't get it muscle it out there yeah and with the genius if they started to carry down he would have a definite problem with the ball sliding past exactly, the head exactly yeah this ball sits exactly in the middle yeah. it gets him through the fronts with a ton of movement down yeah. lane he threw this ball and was having a blast throwing it he just let her roll out there and it's see how strong it just comes back uh, and the carry was just phenomenal yeah now you know we say it a lot about retaining energy um when you throw like Wayne does. You can see he works a little bit more the side of the yeah. ball. Often you will lose a little bit of energy down lane. And yeah. this ball was able to keep it as it skidded yeah. down the lane. Yeah, having when he throws throwing it in and out, yeah, it tends to wear out a little bit, right? Now here's scoops, a little bit of but, a higher rev rate, playing a, a much wider good. line. Yeah. I like this. This was a great ball. I um I enjoyed throwing it. I uh I hardly missed. It was um it was fun. What are you talking about? We never miss. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Always strikes all the time. You see that one? I actually got in a little bit uh, inside 15 and still rolled out and stayed in the oil. It was um, – the reaction is phenomenal with this ball. Yeah. Now, I know that Scoops was a big fan of the original one. Uh, yeah. But like yeah. Wayne, when they got really dry, yeah, it's a much harder to get that ball across yeah, where this ball exactly. you can play. Yeah. this it's, it's it, With it being in the middle of the road, it was like you could play it. I felt like it was going to be a ball that I could play much longer. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can yeah. see how excited he gets on it because of, of the way that it comes back. He can just yeah. keep going wider and wider. Wider, yeah. There's no worry about getting it out there. Once again. Oh, oh! beauty kick. Almost yeah. got phoenixed there. Oh, yeah. Shout out to our friends at uh, Bowlers United. Yeah. Now, here I am throwing it. 
Now, uh, I really like this ball. Um, it is no secret how much I enjoyed the first Mastermind. Yeah. And the genius, I liked when the lanes kind of got tougher, a lot drier down lane. This ball I adore. Yeah. Rob was throwing, like, beautiful shots with this ball. I've, just off his hand, you could tell that it was a strike. Yeah, now you can see, like, I can get it wide, and it is picking up about the, the first cheater board there, down yeah. around 40 feet. Uh, not overreacting, not super yeah. jumping, but digging in. Yeah. It was nice to have for Rob to have that reaction where he exactly it didn't go down too far and get behind the head pin, but like he said, it, he wasn't he's not worried about having to project the ball out on lane and make sure that it gets to the point. Yeah, I don't have to loft it like the original one. That yeah. one I let off a little bit to show a little bit more versatility, yeah. but man, oh man, it doesn't take a it doesn't take a lot of brains to see how good this no. ball is. Yeah. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you heard this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews. You can also follow us on Twitter at Laneside Reviews and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget you can now find us online at LanesideReviews.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you Laneside. This program is sponsored by Turbo Driven to Bowl. For all the quad two inserts and switch grip interchangeable thumbs we use in all of our videos. Dexter Bowling Shoes. The world's most advanced bowling shoe, the SST8. Bolorama Berry, 5 and 10 pin lanes, birthday parties and corporate events. 320 Bayfield Street, Berry, Ontario. Online at bolorama.com. World Gym Berry. Hardcore since 1976, iconic, no-nonsense, located at 400 Bayfield Street, Barrie, Ontario. Find us online at worldgym.com slash Barrie.